Welcome to this video on creating functions in Python. Now, functions is something you're going to come across a lot. Functions are used repeatedly in complex game design in, in absolutely everything you do. So understanding the basics and the foundation of how a function looks, how it works, what it is, is very important. These are some of the absolute basics. Now as we looked at before, this is a main function. You can call it anything you like. In this case it's called main. And we define a function by using the def keyword. And we call a function using the name of the function, open brackets, close brackets. A few things to remember. Whenever you're creating a function, you start with the def keyword. So def main, def home, def moose, whatever it is. Don't forget to have the open brackets, close brackets. And finally, don't forget the little colon. So whenever you're creating a function, which we'll look at in a minute, you must add the colon at the end. Very important, whenever you make a function, everything inside it is always indented. This could be about four spaces in. As long as it's consistent, we'll simply use the tab button. The tab button is to the left of your one on your keyboard. Remember that when you have a function, it's not going to actually do anything or run unless you call the function. And you do that right at the bottom, on the top level, and that, that means right to the left, as I'll show you as we code it. Why do we need functions? You'll look at this in more detail at a later stage in the Solve and Learn series, but really it helps us to divide the code up into manageable chunks. Here are examples of functions in the creation of a turtle helicopter game. And even if you were making something really complex like Flappy Birds, you would always have functions. So understanding how they work is key. So let's begin by creating a function called function1. Notice that I decided on the name, which could be anything. I could even call it my first function. You have an open brackets, close brackets, and then a colon. Python automatically indents it for you usually, but if in case it didn't, you need to tab it or use one, two, three, four. Something consistent. And then you can write something inside your function. Such as this is my first function. Remember, nothing's gonna happen unless you call the function. And we do that right at the bottom, so nothing goes beyond this, this is called the top level, and I would write the name of the function that I wish to execute, open brackets, close brackets, my first function, and it actually executes. Now notice that if I write that there, it's not going to work, because it has to be what's called at the top level, right to the left. So that's my first function. I could also call that just the main function, which is often done in which case I change that to main. Now what if I wanted to make another function called sky print this function is called sky. Now how would I go from this function to this function? So at the moment it's just saying this is my first function but it's not printing this. Well I do exactly the same thing as I did down here. But after this, think of the logical sequence, I would just simply type in the name of the function that I wish to call, sky. Now, when you press play, you'll note that it says, this is my first function, this function is called sky, because it's jumped. You can do exactly the same thing. Trees. How would I jump from sky to trees? I would simply, inside the sky function, call the trees function. What would happen if I called the main function from trees? You might want to pause the screen and think about that, but effectively it's going to cause what's called an infinite loop because the program is going round and round and round. Maximum call stack size exceeded, which basically means it's just 
run out of memory and it can't do much more. So let's get rid of that. This is basically how a function works. As you look deeper into functions, you'll we'll look at things like passing parameters. For instance, I could write x is equal to 3 in the main function, and then in the sky function, which is here, I could pass this value x into the sky function, like so. So I'm saying call the sky function with the value x, which I've defined in the main function. So x is here, and I can actually refer to it here. So for instance, I could, over here, type print x. This variable has come from the main function. And you'll see should should work. I'm going to use a comma there. We'll look more at how to do this. So these are trees. And you can see it's actually printing the 3 here, which comes from that function. These are the basics of working with functions. The key thing you need to remember is how to define a function, how to call a function from another function.